So I found that the one hive is honey bound and I needed to take some high, some combs out. So I'm doing a little different. I'm using just the high roller, or the capping roller. Let's see how this works. And then I'm gonna, once I spin the honey out, I'm gonna put the frames back into the hive. Signs already. So the one thing I noticed after using the honey spinner is that the frames are oriented a little different than some of the other spinners I've seen where they're from the center to the outside so both sides get emptied at the same time. In this one, you would spin the one side, you flip them over, and then you would spin the other side out. So it was shaking pretty good at the beginning there, but what I did is I, I spun it out a little bit I flipped it over, I spun that out a, lot, a little bit, and I was able to get it up to a higher speed and get more of the honey out. And then I flipped it back over to the first side again, and it didn't shake nearly at all. Uh, I do need to have it bolted down. Uh, me and my daughter were able to hold it in place, so that actually worked pretty well. So I yeah, hope this helps. I put these here so these ones are two that kind of got messed up and I did not put those back in the hive and so I'm going to put them out here for the bees to rob out clean that way nothing goes to waste here so I've got the hives you see in the background there and the hives over there I don't want to put them too close because I don't want to encourage robbers to go after the hives and hopefully they'll find it before all the wild bees do. Good, 
cleaned it up. And it sends the early mist. Thank you.